All right, all well, welcome back to our CERT Blaster Labs for CompTIA Security Plus 601. We are going to be identifying attack indicators on our Windows server. Okay, we are going to be assessing our Windows server for vulnerabilities. All right, this is a great skill set to have. This is a great skill set to have. Please practice this lab a few times. We are identifying security gaps. All right, so first things first, let us log into DC1. All right, to prepare for application attack detection, you will use the process explorer and performance monitor to display current resource utilization information. You will create a custom data collector set and performance monitor to observe a simulated deviation from the baseline, okay? Once we are logged in and we see the server manager, let's go to tools and go down to performance monitor. Okay. Let's expand this data collector set. Select and right click user defined node. And we're gonna go to new data collector set. The name is gonna be CPU baseline. All right, and we're gonna select create manually advanced here. Let's go to next. We're gonna select the performance counter. Go to next. We're gonna hit add. Okay, let's expand this processor node here. All right, we want processor time. Hit add, we want user time, hit add. And we want interrupts, seconds, hit add. Okay, you can see it listed here, the three that we need. All right, select okay. Make sure we have the right three. Hit next. Which of the following is the path displayed for the root directory where the performance monitor data collector set logs will be stored? We are under the system drive, perf logs, admin, and CPU baseline. Select finish. Okay, let's minimize this for now. Minimize this. And let's go to open this lab files folder. And remember sys internals. Let's go to sys internals and start up process explorer. Okay. Let's use process explorer 64. Let's leave this open, minimize that. Let's right click the taskbar and start the task manager. Come over to the performance tab. Okay, look at what's going on with the CPU. Memory. This is normal behavior here. All right, this is our baseline behavior. Okay. Go ahead and minimize this. So this is our baseline behavior. You don't see anything abnormal now. Memory usage is being used by 50%, nothing on the ethernet. So we'll leave this alone. Let's go ahead and add some stress to this server to see what happens to our performance. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our performance monitor. Okay.
Now here, we want to right click, right CPU baseline, right here, and then select start. Okay, so let's leave this. It's going to collect our baseline. Let's go back to this lab folders. Okay, and under sys internals, let's look for an application called CPU stress. We're going to use CPU stress 64. And the reason we're using 64 because our Windows operating system is a 64 bit, the one that we're using. So what we're gonna do is kind of rearrange our windows here because we wanna see the stress that we're creating. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put this over here. So over here, let's go ahead and let's create. Okay, we're gonna create thread. All right, you see a new thread has been generated, but it's not active. Okay, so let's highlight all five of these. I'm just gonna go to the bottom and shift click the last one. We'll shift click it, all of them. Gonna right click, okay. In the activity level, we're gonna set to medium. Okay, the activity level is set to medium. Now let's activate them. And look what happens. When we activate it, the CPU utilization spiked up to 100%. The computer is going a little slow now. All right, you see this is at 100%. Sys internals, this is at 100% here as well. All right, why is because we're using a stress tool. The stress tool is adding more, or it's it's requiring our server to use more resources than normal. Why would we do this? Because we want to see how much this server can handle. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel this. Okay. In our process explorer, we already saw that everything was at 100. They should be coming down. And you see it coming down slowly. We're at 28%. We're at 27% now, which is good. We're gonna close this. We're gonna close process explorer. We're gonna minimize this. Let's open up our performance monitor again. Let's right click this CPU baseline and select stop. Right click it again and get the latest report. Okay. See what we were collecting, user time, processor time, it interrupts for seconds. Which of the following answers best describes the results of the CPU baseline data? Okay, processor utilization is normal, then high, then normal again. Processor utilization is unchanged throughout the activity. 
processor utilization is, is high than normal, than high. Process utilization is high throughout the activity. Go ahead and just browse through this. No, looking at this data here. Okay, we can see that it was low and then spiked and then went back to normal again. Go ahead and make sure that the CPU baseline report was created. Cool. Now let's go ahead and create some stress on the memory. We just created stress on the CPU. We're going to create stress on the memory. All right. So we're going to create a new data selector set. So let's right click this. We'll select the first and right click. Actually, let's go to user defined, right click it, go to new data collector set. We're going to name this memory baseline. Okay. Go to next. Let's go to so let's go back and do the manual option. Okay, now let's select next. Okay. Now let's go back one. Select performance counter. Select next. Let's add, we're going to add some counters from the memory section. Here's memory. Let's expand this. And what we want is committed bytes in use. I'm going to add that one available megabytes in pages by seconds. Okay, and select OK. Select next. Next. And finish. Okay, let's right click the memory baseline we just created. Select start. Okay, let's minimize this and open up PowerShell as administrator. Right click run as administrator select yes okay go ahead and change directories with this command to sys internals now before we do anything else let's go ahead and open up our task manager again but this time we're going to have it on memory okay Resize this. All right, let's run this. We're going to do a stress test on the memory now from PowerShell. And I'm going to hit enter. Agree. And we can watch the memory utilization spiking. Okay, what's the, what's the following purpose of this character here? It's a script. Okay, it informs Windows PowerShell that it's a script. Oh, I'm sorry, it's an executable. It informs Windows PowerShell that we are running an executable. Okay, switch. We can see that this is at 95%. If you go over to the processes tab in task manager, look at the memory, pretty high. If you go down to background processes, Q 
keep scrolling down for this test windows limit look how much data it's using let's right click that and end task now look at our memory going back down okay let's open up our performance monitor right click the memory baseline Okay, let's stop it. Let's right click it again. Select latest report. Now, which of the following answers best describes the results of the memory baseline data? Memory utilization is unchanged. Memory utilization is high, then normal, then high again through the activity. Memory utilization is normal, then high, and then normal throughout the activity. Let's confirm that the report was created. And y'all, good job on, on getting through this part here. So what we did was stress test our Windows server to see how much it could handle, right? At what point was it going to hit 100% utilization on CPU and memory usage? Okay, this is really good to know when you want to test out how, you know, let's say you have a new application that you're trying to integrate on your on the server. Well, how much utilization is it going to use once it started? For instance, let's say you wanted to install a new antivirus, maybe McAfee. Well, after you start it up, you can run performance monitor to see how much memory it's using or how much CPU resources it's eating up. 